Multiply and simplify. Here's the idea. Remember how multiplication of fractions work? You multiply straight across, right? So we have, an, in this problem, we have uh, 5t cubed over 4t minus 8. That's one rational expression. And then we also have 6t minus 12 over 10t. That's another rational expression. We could multiply straight across and then cancel appropriately, right? But you could also cancel ahead of time and make your life easier. Cross-canceling, some students or some teachers call it. Really, it's just division. So the directions on this, factor everything, and then start slashing, as long as the operation is multiplication, right? How do you, f well, okay, 5t cubed is pretty much done. How do you factor uh, 4t minus 8? Well, just for the 4t minus 8, I think you're just going to look for a GCF. What's the greatest common factor? Four. Four, yeah. So, and then what's left? T minus 2. T minus 2. There you go. Now, the upper right-hand numerator, what could you factor out? The 6. The 6. And what's left? Uh, T minus 2. T minus 2. 10t is factored. Well, the 10 isn't factored technically, is it? You could write that as 2 times 5. But... We're not going to bother with, with that. All right, if there's a fun part, here it is. This question's for anybody. What are we going to slash? T minus 2. Yeah, mathematicians have a different version of what's fun than most people. T minus 2, right? Oh, what else? A fact, one factor of T. How many are left up here? And then, oh, there's some other stuff. Okay, one, 5... Yeah, 5 tenths reduces to 1 half. What else? So 2 goes into both of those. What? 3 times, 2 times. It's getting a little messy on the ice, so you've got to be careful. What's going to be left on top then? Just 1 times t squared, right? Times, oh, uh, wait, what else? 3, so 3t three squared on top. Would you buy that? Yeah, you got to be careful because it gets a little busy on your eyes. And then over what? Yeah. 2 times 2 is all I see. So 3t squared over 4? 